Division strategies. Today we're going to use the distributive property to simplify two digit by one digit division. 4,000 divided by 40 equals, this is asking 40 times what is 4,000? Well, if we went 40 times 10, we would get 400. Well, we need to keep going. 40 times 100 equals, remember we count the number of zeros, three zeros. And we find our answer. 4,000 divided by 40 equals 100. Divide mentally. 3,000 times what equals 300,000? Let's count the zeros. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So that means we need how many more zeros? We need two. There's only three here and five here. Five zeros minus three zeros equals two zeros. Finish up the rest of them. Let's use tens and ones blocks to divide. 69 divided by three. We need to share these into three equal groups. One group, two group, three group. Let's start with the ones. We have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three ones. Let's share the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We find that our answer, the quotient, is 23. Exercises, 84 divided by two. Well, we need to split 84 into two equal groups. Start with the ones, one, two, three, four. Continue with the tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Try the next two. When we divide by using tens and ones blocks, we might as well be dividing the tens and ones separately into groups. For example, 84 divided by two is the same as 80 divided by two plus four divided by two. Why did I use brackets? I used brackets to make sure that I did this first, then add them afterwards. How can we use expanded form to divide 68 divided by two? Well, we know that expanded form looks like this. 68 expanded is the same as 60 divided by eight. Well, we can use expanded form because 60 divided by two in brackets plus eight divided by two will give us our answer. Eight divided by two, what's half of eight? Half of eight is four. What's half of 60? Mm, well, I know what half of six is. Half of six is three, three plus three, and then I just remember the zero. Our answer is gonna be the sum of 30 plus four. Divide using expanded form. So remember to do the brackets first. 96 divided by three is the same as 90 divided by three plus six divided by three. So six divided by three, if I skip count by threes, three, six. So the answer is two. 90 divided by three, well that's big, so I'm just gonna pretend it's a nine for now. So skipping counting by threes to nine, three, six, nine. So I know my tens is three. Three tens. Find the sum, 32. Try the next couple by yourself. We were asked to check our answer with multiplication. So let's quickly check. Does 32 times three equal 96? 32 times three, using vertical form. Three times two, well that's six. Three times three tens is nine tens. And we get our answer. In all the problems so far, we've been able to divide the tens and ones separately. Sometimes we can't do this. Model this division with tens and ones blocks. You'll need to take apart the 10. We would need to draw our two groups, start by sharing the ones, one, two, continue with the tens, 10, 20, 30. I can't share the 10 blocks, so I'm gonna need to break it up into ones, which is 10,
And then, well, I know half of 10. Half of 10 is just 5. So I need to add 5 to both sides. So my actual answer to 32 divided by 2 is 10 plus 6, 16. What division do the tens blocks show? The tens blocks show 30 divided by 2. The ones blocks show 2 divided by 2. 54 divided by 3 shows 50 divided by 3 and 4 divided by 3. Can I divide 4 equally with 3? I can't. Break the division into the sum of two divisions to divide. So 54 divided by 2 is the same as 40 divided by 2 plus 14 divided by 2. We can do this because 54 is 40 plus 14. Do you see that? 54 equals 40 plus 14. And we can find this rather easily. Half of 40, well, that's 20. Half of 14 may be a little more difficult, but I know 7 plus 7 is 14. And we're going to find the quotient, which is 27. Try the next couple by yourself. This rectangle has two rows and three squares each. What multiplication equation can you use to write the total number of squares in the rectangle? Well, there are two rectangles by three rectangles. So we know that this is 2 times 3, which will give us 6. 6 total rectangles. I have a rectangle that is 2 squares down and has 10 squares total. How many squares across it? Okay, 1, 2. And it has 10 squares total. Interesting. So I'm going to have to be counting by 2's until I get to 10 total. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. How many squares across the top? That's going to be 5. If I know that 2 times something equals 10, then I know 10 divided by 2. Write the division equation to show how many squares across the rectangle is. So if the total is 12, we need to remember Isabella's rule, which is the total goes first. 12 divided by 3 equals how many squares across the rectangle is. We don't actually need to find the answer. You just need to write the equation. Here you're given the total number of squares down and the total number of squares. Without seeing the squares, write the division equation. I know the total, 6, and I know the squares down, which is 2. What am I going to find? The squares across. Finish the next two. Remember, we can use expanded form to divide mentally. To divide 84 divided by 2, use 84 equals 80 plus 4. 80 divided by 2 in brackets plus 4 divided by 2. Use expanded form to find the length across the rectangles. So 68 divided by 2 is the same as 60 plus 8. I know 60 divided by 2, half of 60 is going to be 30. I know half of 8 is going to be 4. And then I know 68 divided by 2 is going to be 34. Go ahead and finish the next ones. These ones are getting a little harder. Let's try one together and then you can try the rest. Half of 70. Well, we know half of 60 was 30. And 70 is 10 more. We can take 10 and share it with two people. It's 5. So we're left with 35. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. 35 plus 2 is going to be 37. Remember, expanded form is just one way to write a number as 10s and 1s. 78 equals 70 plus 8. We have our 10s, we have our 1s. Which way makes it easiest to solve 78 divided by 3? Well, if we wrote 70 plus 8, we know that 70 can't be shared equally with 3, and we know 8 can't be shared. Well, we could try 60. We know that 60 can be shared with 3, which leaves us 18. Can 18 be shared with 3? Well, let's skip count by 3's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. It can. So 18 divided by 3, we just found, 
is 6. And 60 divided by 3 is 20. Our quotient's going to be 20 plus 6. Write 72 as sums of 10s and 1s in different ways. So 72 divided by 3, it could be 70 plus 2, but we know we can't share 2 with 3. Let's try 60 plus 12. Can 12 be shared with 3? 3, 6, 9, 12. Can 60 be shared with 3? Yeah, we already figured that out. It was 20 plus 4. Try the next one. The hint's very helpful. Choose the number of tens so that it's a multiple of the number that you're dividing by and as large as possible. I chose a multiple of 10 that's quite close to 72. Divide. Show your answer using a rectangle. So with our rectangle, it gives us the total, which is 54, and it gives us the length along the side, which is 2. So how can we split this up? into easy numbers. 50 is kind of an easy number to work with. So instead of 54, we can do 50 and we can do 4. Half of 50? Well, that's easy. It's a quarter. 25 cents. Half of 4 is 2. 25 plus 2 is 27. Try the next thing. Make the three-digit number with tens and ones blocks and then divide your blocks into the correct number of groups. So tens and ones blocks. So I have a 12 tens and four ones. Can I share 12 tens and four ones with two? Absolutely. Half of 12 tens is six tens. Half of four ones is two ones. What's my answer? 62. Go ahead, try the next ones. Sarah has 42 stamps in her stamp collection. Raider has 54 stamps in his. If they share their stamps evenly between them, how many will they have each. So 54 and 42. There's a couple ways to solve this problem. I think the easiest way to solve this problem is to add all their stamps together and then divide it by 2. So 42 plus 54. That's going to be 6 and 90. And then we need to divide 96 by 2. Go ahead and find the answer. How many will they have if they share them evenly among three people? So instead of just sharing them with two people, you need to share them with three. The first thing we need to do is write it in expanded form. Three hundreds, six tens, nine ones. Can we divide these numbers by three? Well, I know three times three is nine. We've solved this one a couple times. 60 divided by three is 20. 300 divided by 3, that's a huge number, but if you think about hundreds blocks, that's 300 blocks. Our sum is 123. Try these last few. Great work today. I'm sure these questions will come in handy as you enter the caverns of our game.